Hey bar lovers, Andrea here for all the best tips and tricks on getting the most out of your bar classes. In my last video, I taught you how to correctly do a ballet plie. And in today's video, we're gonna learn another one of the most important exercises for bar classes, and that is a ballet tondu. When you know how to perform a tondu absolutely correctly, you get so much more out of your bar classes and you really learn how to use the muscles of your feet and legs in a way that help you lengthen, strengthen, and tone. This is perfect if you're a bar class addict, but even better if you're a bar teacher because then you can pass on this correct technique along to your students. I have taught over 100 people all over the world how to become bar instructors, and I've taught class to over 14,000 clients in my studio here in Adelaide, Australia, as well as countless more people online. So let's learn how to do a correct tondu. So for our perfect ballet tondu, let's start with our feet in first position. It's a natural turn -out. you don't want to overstrain the turn -out muscles like you're a prima ballerina in a ballet company. You just want to work on a natural turn -out so you don't strain through the knees or the hips. But feet in first position. Tummies in, shoulders back, you've got all that beautiful ballet posture open across the collarbones. We talked about this in the last video on the Now to do a tondu, you want to really use the foot in the floor so you press the whole time, touch the foot on the floor half point, knees stretch the whole time on that demi point. Then you pop, pop the toes on the end. The toes will go down first and then you use your inner thighs to glue the legs together into the centre. Transfer the weight to take the other side. So you go pressing out, demi point, full point, demi point and close. Now I've got this bit of paper here because I like to demonstrate in my classes with paper like this. Because if I do a tondu incorrectly and I don't use my foot on the floor, I don't take the paper with me. But to do it properly, I slide out, the paper moves, I slide, I slide and the paper comes with me. So if I'm doing a tondu absolutely correctly, that piece of paper won't move underneath my foot. Alright? So now you know how to do a perfect tondu and you know how to work your legs in the right way to get your dancer's body. If you're a bar teacher and would like to know more from me on the best tips and tricks on teaching your best bar class ever, I've made a free downloadable PDF called 10 Things You Must Know to Be a Great Bar Instructor. You can download this by hitting the link in the description section right below this video. If you found this helpful, please let me know by leaving a comment below. And be sure to subscribe for new videos that I post every single week. Share with your fellow bar lovers and hit the like button below so I know to make more videos that follow on from this one. See you in the next video.